if you wanted to keep up with the American dream, have a nice house, send your kid to college, you know, enjoy the things that daily advertising was prompting you to enjoy. So what did the American people do? They borrowed. They borrowed in a way no working class in any other country had ever done before. People don't re remember, but the 1970s was the time we invented the mass credit card. Before that, a credit card, American Express, was a businessman's uh, technique of keeping records of expenses. Now it was pushed into everybody's wallet, not just one card. Dozens of cards. We redesigned wallets to hold the <laughs> numerical number of cards. Stores gave us a card, a MasterCard, and you know, all of that. Um, we borrowed. We borrowed for our houses. We borrowed to buy our car. We borrowed with our credit card. And in the last 25 years, we invented a new borrowing, student loan. So now families are besieged by debt. But here's the irony. What kept the American economy going, what kept alive the American dream, which is no longer affordable, was a binge on debt, the likes of which we had never seen before. 2008, it crashed. Why? Because you can't keep having more and more debts on a stagnant wage foundation. The day will come when you can't service the debt. We call it in economics. You can't cover the interest and pay back your debt, and it becomes unsustainable, and we're still in a trapped economy because our people can't earn more, and they can't borrow anymore because they've already shown the limits to what debt can be built up by the American people, which is one of the reasons you have the turmoil and the difficulty in our culture that we have now. We can't sell goods because Americans cannot buy them, neither with their wages, which aren't enough, nor with their debts, which they can't increase the way they once did. And so we're at a point where there's no other way out, which is a deep cause of both the Trump phenomena and the turmoil in American society as people try to figure out what to do, how to handle it, who's to blame for it. All of these urgent questions come out of this economic history of the last 40 years. No one wants to forgive the debt, of no. course. No. It's an inevitability that we're going to have another crash similar to the... Housing. It sure looks like it.